Hi guys, welcome back to Sir Jacob's vlog after dark. The current time is 2.33 a.m. I just finished packing up my room. As you can see, there's not much, well there's that, but I'm taking that with me somewhere important. But there's not much around. I packed up all of my stuff. I'm all ready to move out of my freshman dorm. It's been a big year for me and I have so many great memories, a few not so great memories, but ultimately so many life lessons that I can take with me the rest of my life. Um, I've written a reflection of the year that I will now read to you. Bear with me guys, I'm not a reader. I mentioned earlier that I am dyslexic, so if I fumble over any words, please ignore it. Anyhow, this is what I have to say. <clears throat> Let me get a drink of water first. <clears throat> Reflection of the year. It has been an incredible year for me. I made so much personal progress and I truly have developed into an independent person. I never truly had a true sense of independence until this year, seeing as how I was still living at my mom's house. I still am during the summers but that's not important, please just let me have this. I guess you could say that living on campus isn't really absolute freedom and responsibility is not necessarily all there. However, just don't fight me on this. I am independent now and accept that as truth. Recently, I've been asked several times whether or not I would change anything about freshman year and my answer is no. I would not change a single thing about my freshman year. I have so many experiences. Not all of them are positive, but they've all shaped me into the person that I am today. And I'm going to accept that all as positive because I love myself. And a lot of people may see that as selfish or conceited, but I really don't care. Most of those people that would consider me selfish or conceited are no longer a part of my life because I cut them out of my life to better myself as a person. I learned how to say goodbye to people that were not in it for the long run and they weren't ultimately invested in me as a person. They were invested in themselves and I had to cut them off because they were toxic and I I'm a much better person today because they're no longer in my life. Isn't that funny? Hmm. I could go on and rant about this all day, but I won't. I'll spare you and I'll give you some more memories from the year in next episode. But for now, I'm going to read my very first Finsta post about my college life. In the beginning, I kept up my Finsta or fake insta or spam account as the kids are calling it sometimes. Um, I kept up a very detailed account day to day of my college life. I called it updates. Um, my first update was as follows. College update number one. I don't think I've ever been this tired. JK, I probably have. Anyhow, it's a blast. I'm moved in and I've already made a bunch of friends. I'll give a brief summary of what I know about them. Number one, starting with Joel. Joel Bautista, what can I say? I'm drawn to the name Joel. I had a friend Joel in past life, Arizona. Um, anyhow, I think he's Cuban and I mentioned Cuba and he got like excited so he might be, but I'm not sure. Anyhow, he's nice. He's quiet, but still kind of outgoing. Uh, I have male crowd hit with him and I stood behind him uh, during the first rehearsal and one time he went down to grab his music from the floor at the same time that I grabbed my music and my face was directly in his bum and I remember that vividly. I can't believe I wrote about that. Wow, I'm so cringe. Sorry Joel, I didn't mean to at you, but there you go. Shout out to Joel. Um... Joel wants to be a pilot. That's so cool. He can fly me all over the world. LOL, LOL. 
I met three girls at the same time in a big meeting and I instantly connected with every single one of them. Um, we started passing out our phone numbers and exchanging Snapchats. Anyhow, here is the first one, Isabella. Isabella is a cross between Brenda Song from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, who is not acting anymore. I'm very surprised that I really loved London Tipton, whatever. And Adrian Bailon, who was in Cheetah Girls, who is now on The Real, which is a great daytime talk show, if you're in the market for a talk show. Um, she's so funny and she complains a lot and she has a shattered phone too and she laughs at all my jokes. She's a blast. The comments about the shattered phone, I had a shattered phone for like literally the first semester. I. I, I don't know how it happened, but my phone was always broken and I got it fixed several times, but then it would always break and then like the screen would go black and I, d I didn't know what to do. So I was always in the mall at the, the fix. I'm not going there ever again, just so you know. Very negative review. Google, Google will tell you that I gave them a positive review, but in my heart, I know that they're not good. So don't go there. Um. Harmony. Harmony is Canadian, and she's quiet, but she's also really funny. Um, she reminds me of a girl from high school. I won't mention her name, because I don't even think she remembers me. I didn't remember her until I read this post from August 28th, 2017. So, sorry. Uh, she's really nice. I don't know very much about her. Um, moving on to Melissa. She was the very first girl that I met at CBU and she sat right next to me in the meeting. Um, she is from California and she plays many instruments. Uh, she's a little more reserved, but she still talks a lot. She's Mexican and I love Mexicans because I myself am a Mexican and I'm very proud of it. More to come. Hmm. I guess that's all I wrote for that Finsta post. Quite a lot if you do ask me, because the rest of my Finsta posts are, well, that, you know. No, I, my Finsta posts are really long. I can't defend myself. I don't know why. I just feel like I have to write everything and I don't know why I am this way, but I am and I'm proud of it. So there. Anyhow, that's all I have for you today. I am a little emotional. It's, it's late. I have an empty room. My roommate moved out a few days ago, like officially took all of his stuff. So now I'm alone. I wanna go home, but I can't because we have a tour for choir. But that's okay, it's gonna be fun. I'll be around a lot of people. And I'm not in Arizona, which is a good thing. I don't like Arizona. Hmm. Anyhow, that's really all I have for you. So peace and blessings over and out. I hope you have a great day and a great week. Just kidding, guys. I have one more thing for you. I need to beg you to go see Infinity War. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I saw it the day it came out with my friend Nathan from a previous vlog, my very first guest star. It's immaculate it's there's no words for this movie i i felt every single emotion that there is to feel and i'm not over it i i need you guys to see it so i can talk about it and even if you're not into superhero movies i think you can still appreciate it you'll know the characters well at least a few of them you'll know but that's all i have to say just go and see infinity war all right peace and blessings over and out